wrestling fans, it's that one time a year again. It's basically like Christmas time, which basically it is since it is in January, but Christmas is in December. So a late Christmas, but still, it's the one pay-per-view besides WrestleMania that we all look forward to. You know, regardless of all the bullshit pay-per-views that WWE produces nowadays, and I used to watch all their shit, the one pay-per-view I never ever miss is basically the Royal Rumble. The fucking dexterity in my hands, fuck, sorry. The Royal Rumble and WrestleMania. SummerSlam has become another show, because it's not... It used to be something grand. Don't you remember? Like, used to be part of the Big Five. King of the Ring, SummerSlam, WrestleMania, Royal Rumble, Survivor Series. Remember that, kids? The Big Five? There was a thing called the Big Five once. It was big. Now there's only the Big Four, because they got ring of... Yeah, they got rid of King of the Ring. But yeah, there once was a time where it was called the Big Five, and it was a spectacle to watch. But now Survivor Series and SummerSlam are just basically lackluster pay-per-views now, especially Survivor Series. God, I'm parched. But yeah, Survivor Series used to be an amazing show to watch. It was like once every year, like, we were excited to see this, but not anymore, because it's basically another show, and they don't even try to make Survivor Series elimination matches anymore. They got the roster to make elimination matches, but they don't do it. They just put one or two, which is bullshit. But SummerSlam used to be grand, and now there's only two left. Well, WrestleMania, the last WrestleMania was amazing, but the other four before that were not that great. Royal Rumble. Always amazing to watch, even though the last two have been bullshit. <laughs> but anyways, here are my Royal Rumble predictions for this year. We got the pre-show match, which I really don't give a shit about, but since the winner of this match gets to be in the Royal Rumble, I guess I have to talk about it. Yeah. I don't watch pre-show matches, but since there's a tag team match, like I said. So we got Jack Swagger and Mark Henry. What an amazing tag team. The Hot versus The Ascension versus... What? Darren Young and Damien Sandow? What the fuck happened to Titus O'Neil? Did they break up again for the second time? I don't know. I haven't been watching. I'm just saying, like, the one pay-per-view I actually go and watch is the Royal Rumble. It's not like before where I used to watch Raw every single night. And also, we have the Dudley Boys. So let me guess who's going to win that. The Dudley Boys, most likely. I'm just saying. Then... We have Dean Ambrose versus Kevin Owens in a last man standing match. This is going to be a good match. They're going to go all out. Of course, there's no blood because it's PG era, so not much they can do. I'm just guessing they'll beat the shit out of each other to the point where none of them can stand. So it'll end in a KO or like a knockout for both or like a double count out. No, a draw for both or a, a double KO. That's what I'll say. So the title still stays on Dean Ambrose. It's going to be a good match, I think. Next, we have Kalisto versus Alberto Del Rio. Really? Do we have to have this match on a pay-per-view? Really? Okay. I don't understand why Alberto Del Rio is a U.S. champion. Does he really need it? He's Alberto Del Rio. He's above the U.S. title. I can see why. Like, exactly with John Cena, he's above the U.S. title. Because I hate that motherfucker. Not the person, but, well, if he, I celebrated him. Well, if I celebrated him, like, getting injured, I guess I do hate him. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. But, yeah. I'm going to say Kalisto wins by DQ. At least it gets some kind of win, but doesn't actually win the title. And Del Rio still keeps the title and then loses to someone else later on. Because, really, I don't see why Del Rio actually needs a title for that. Okay. Moving on. What else do we have? Oh, yeah. Becky Lynch versus Charlotte. I'm going to say Becky Lynch wins this by interference by Ric Flair who tries to help out Charlotte and winds up fucking over his own daughter. And that's how Becky Lynch wins. And we have the tag team title match. The Usos versus the New Day. I'm going to go with the Usos win by DQ. And the New Day still keeps it because like, they're an amazing heel tag team. They are on hot fire bang. They are on hot fire. And I think they're trying to beat the uh, world's longest tag team title reign. I forgot who it was. I think it was Paul London and Brian Kendrick who were the longest tag team. 
I don't know. I gotta look that up. Cause I, yeah, I gotta look that up. I completely forgot. I said, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. And anyways, we get on to the main event, which we're all looking forward to. The 30-man Royal Rumble for the first time where the WWE title is on the line. Well, not for the first time, because the 92 Royal Rumble, Ric Flair won that, and he won the title because it was vacant. So it was for the vacant WWE title. But this one, there's actually a champion, and he has to fight 29 other guys to keep his title. And he starts at number one. Yeah. Hopefully... This Rumble, they don't fuck it up to like the last two because even Dave Batista said that his Rumble win was fucking bullshit. You don't believe me? Here's his tweet about it. Damn! You have the right to remain burned! Too bad he deleted it. I think he... he I, I heard he deleted his tweet because I don't know. I'm not into Twitter. I'm not, I can't stand Twitter. I just know one day I'm going to get Twitter, which is just bullshit. <laughs> I don't know. But hey, also, Dave Batista is not the only one that's bitching at the, about the Royal Rumble. Well, not bitching, but like putting the WWE in its place. This is what this other person has to say. <laughs> Shots fired. Good way to go, David Benoit. Regardless of what Chris Benoit did, even though it was a horrible thing that he did, he was number one, the first, like, the longest guy ever. It was like, I don't know what bullshit WWE is saying, like, because, like, they're basically wiping Chris Benoit from existence and saying that someone else was the longest number one entry, which really was. I think they said Rey Mysterio was, which is complete bullshit because we all know Chris Benoit outlasted everyone. Yes, I said his name, Chris Benoit, the name that should not be said. So what? I'm not the WWE. Fuck that shit. But anyway, the Royal Rumble itself. Also, I like to say that I like to say that AJ Styles made debut in this. And like I said in my other video, where like I'm it's gonna be bullshit when he shows up. Well not bullshit, but like no one wants to get after him after he debuts, like he's gonna be all these guys are gonna do awesome in NXT. But once in the rear in the main roster, they're going to dwindle. I said my piece about that. I, you can watch that video again. But I'll just say, one again, when AJ Styles shows up in the Rumble, I'm going to mark out like a bitch. No lying in that. I will. I so will. But anyways, who do I think would win the Royal Rumble? I would like to say Brock Lesnar. Because that would be a good idea, but it seems like they're probably going with a Brock Lesnar versus Kevin Owens match at Mania. And most likely they're trying to build up a Triple H versus Roman Reigns feud for Mania for the title, which looks like they're going to do, which they're going to fuck up the Rumble once more. So I'm going to have to say Triple H wins this shit. Even though I don't want Triple H to win this because like, we're all tired of this shit. Two years already, we have lousy ass Rumble winners. Yeah, Batista and then Roman Reigns. Even though I admitted in last year that the uh, crowd was kind of like bullshit over the whole thing, I just went back and looked on it and was like, yeah, I apologize for that. Yeah, it was a bullshit Rumble. Now that I look back upon it, it was. It really was. So, yeah. Would I want to go booking-wise what I want to do or go with the booking-wise that WWE does? Because, like, my booking-wise makes sense. So, when it makes sense, the WWE won't do it. That's just their track record. Look it up. Not look it up. Just look at it. Because, like, anything that you want to make sense, they won't do it. I don't know why. They just don't do it. They just go off in their own direction. So, what, what direction are they going to go? Let me look, think of as, like, what WWE wants to think. Triple H versus Roman Reigns. Triple H wins the title. Roman Reigns is pissed. A 40 figure a Stone Cold thing again bullshit. Go on for Mania. That's the booking thing that they're gonna do. So that's what I see happening. Triple H winning this. And that's gonna be bullshit. Like I said, David Teaser even said like, hope they don't fuck it up this year. Which they most likely will, but still it's an enjoyable rumble to watch anyway because it's the Royal Rumble. It's always enjoyable, because the fuck, it's the one time of year where all, we all watch, regardless of me, like, not watching WWE anymore, because it's, 
utter shite right now. Raw, SmackDown, all the other stuff. It's not like how I used to watch it before. But the Royal Rumble, man, that I will watch. And I will post my reaction to that later when it's on. So anyways, take it easy, guys. What do you guys think? What are your predictions? Take it easy, wrestling fans. Humanoid freak out. Bye.